Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, someone finally did it. So I'm glad to be able to present to you the arcade game your grandma has always wished existed. It's got puppets, it's got needles and frets, and it's called Puppet Fret. So grab your nanny and let her just sew and stitch as much as her heart's desire. Because that is what we're doing in this game. We're sewing and stitching by moving this little needle here, as you guys can see, from left to right on the screen, uh, to destroy these enemies here. It's actually kind of dark when you think about it. And by doing so, we get silver or bronze or gold coins. And we can use these in the shop afterwards to unlock new skins. And that's about it. It's a pretty small arcade game. And guys, if you have ever wanted me to cover more very, very new games, well, then this definitely qualifies. Right now, this game has less than 100 downloads on Google Play and very, very few on iOS as well. I was contacted by the developers. I do receive quite a few of e quite a few emails, but many times, I'm really sorry, but, but some of the games aren't just, they just aren't on the right level and I don't think that you guys will like them, but this one is actually really interesting. It, it reminds me a lot of Fruit Ninja, to be honest, because we just swipe from side to side, just as you would do in Fruit Ninja, and every once in a while, then there's an item or something that you have to avoid. We can also tap, though, on any side, basically, of the screen to make the uh, the little needle move to that spot. So, for example, if I tap over here, it moves over here, tap over there, it moves over there, but I can also just swipe. Honestly, I actually found the tap to move to be faster than swiping. So for some of these enemies where we have to hit them many times, for example, this one we have to have hit 15 times, I generally do just tap each side, really. This one here, another one where we have to do that, and that one over there on the left side. No! No, our needle broke! We hit one of the patches that we weren't supposed to hit just as the boss monster was about to appear. Urgh, that sucks. But at least that gives us an opportunity to go in here and have a look at some of the different skins we can unlock for our needles. And for that, we need gold. And we get the gold by getting 10 of the silver, and we get one silver by getting 10 of the bronze ones. So what can we get here? We can get this bone, which is gonna add one extra health, so that's nice. Uh, what about this one? A kitchen knife. That's interesting as well. We don't have enough of that one though, but it's gonna deal one extra damage. We could also just save up to 35. If we do that, we get one that has one extra health and one extra damage, and then we have some of the really rare ones over here, which I think some of the last ones, yeah, they do cost two US dollars to unlock, but that will also unlock the last few chapters in this game, by the way. So there are, as you guys can see if we go in here, there are five different chapters, and the last two, you can unlock them through an in-app purchase. And a $2 in-app purchase will also unlock or remove all the ads available in the game right now, and there are quite a few of those ads, sadly. Right now I'm playing in offline mode to be able to record this video for you guys, so luckily it works. This game can definitely be played in offline mode. But as always, and I mentioned this in one of my recent videos as well, if you like the developer, if you like the game, don't play it in offline mode, guys. Like, be sure to support the indie developers who make the games that we actually want to play. That's really, really important. Uh, but you can do a $2 inner purchase to remove the ads, and I would actually recommend you guys to do that if you do fall in love with this game, just as I have. It's so quirky, but it's really, really unique, and the art style, this hand-drawn art style here, uh, it's definitely got some soul, uh, it's got some personality, and I'm really liking that. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from this developer, hopefully, in the future. And talking about unique gameplay, I, I think this definitely qualifies. Um, I, I don't really have anything else to compare it to than Fruit Ninja. And although Fruit Ninja definitely isn't original, this setting here of, of what it is we have to do is really, really unique. And honestly, it's just a great idea to play as a needle uh, where you have to sort of stitch your enemies to kill them, really. Uh, I <laughs> I'm really liking that. So now, guys, let's see if we can just get to the last boss here. Oh, there's actually a mini boss up here. We can't hit it right now, though, because it's glowing red. Okay, there we go. Now we can hit it. Come on. 20 times, 20 times. Come on, faster. 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 No, no, we didn't get that one. That's too bad. I think that one would have actually given, give, gotten us one gold, or at least a couple of silver. Ah, that would have been so nice. We need to get up to 35 gold. So defeating this boss, yes, here's the boss. Defeating the boss. Well, this, wait, this isn't the boss, actually. But it still gave us one gold, though. So I'm totally fine with that. Let's get this guy taken out. Okay, there we go. This is the boss, guys. Let's have a look. Isn't it spawning? There we go. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Let's hit this patch up here as fast as we can. It's glowing yellow because that's the one we have to hit. Come on, come on, come on. At least... No, we didn't get 50% of the HP. Even we got like 60%. I think we might be able to get the rest of it before the next special attack by the enemy. 
Uh, these special attacks here, they aren't really that difficult to avoid because you just tap the screen somewhere where, you know, the, the boss isn't attacking and they're generally very easy to avoid. I do hope that we'll see different types of bosses in the later levels though. Um, in this first and second level, we've seen the, uh, the the same boss. So in the later stages, I would say this probably gets a bit boring if, uh, if it stays the same. I think over time, they'll definitely get more HP. I think this one already has more HP because in the first level, I could beat it in just two tries. So it only got to do the, its special attack, or its only attack, I guess, once. But now, let's finish this one and get some gold. And the cool thing is that actually once we've defeated the boss, the level just continues, as you guys can see. We can choose to stop here if we want to, and we should... Why didn't we get... We're supposed to get a thing that makes us... Uh, and that enables us to unlock the next level after we've completed the boss. I didn't see that there. Maybe that's because we have to defeat it twice. That might be it. Something strange going on here, guys. But that is how you unlock the next levels, uh, by simply defeating the boss in one level, and then you can unlock the next one. Guys, let's see if we can finish this one. Here we go again, guys. This is the second time we're meeting this boss here. Uh, this time we're dealing a lot more damage, or at least dealing faster damage. I think this time we... Oh, I thought we were actually gonna take it out completely in just our first try before the first round of attacks here. Okay, guys, head down to the comment section. Let me know what you think about this game right now. I'm really liking it. If you liked Fruit Ninja, it's an arcade, of course, an arcade casual game. But if you like Fruit Ninja, I have a feeling that you'll really like this one. And if not, I guess maybe your granny uh, could uh, could enjoy playing this. <laughs> could enjoy playing this game. Who knows? I think that's enough. Let's go out here and hopefully, if we go home, yes, we want to quit. We will actually now be able to unlock the next level. And wait, no. Chapter 1, level 3, there we go, we've got enough, and now we have level 3 unlocked, that's how you do it. Awesome guys, I'm gonna end up the video here, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video, let me know what you think about the game in the comments down below, is it just two out there, or could you definitely see yourself playing this one? I've left the download links as I always do in the description box down below, and with that said, thank you for sticking around, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I will see you guys around.